Hello everyone, welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. As you can see, our fields have been harvested, plowed. We have uh, manure down on both of these at 96 and 97%, which is pretty good. They are both 100% plowed and 100% cultivated. Uh, we do have to spread some fertilizer and then seed the fields. And I think I'm going to do uh, this one in canola since it's slightly bigger. And we'll do this one in barley uh, just to pick up the hay bales and feed to our cows as we no longer need to sell the hay bales. Um because we have money now so uh, i'm gonna keep the hay bales for our cows from now that's what i said i was gonna do we also own uh this field here and we started harvesting it uh it is 12 percent harvested so we still got a long way to go but it is planted with peas so we're gonna get a pretty good yield out of it we did fertilize it we didn't get any manure down on it but we did fertilize it um and cultivated and all that kind of stuff so it should get a give a nice yield for peas even though it's only uh Where's the thing at uh, 0.87 hectares? So not too bad at all. Uh, first, we need to get this guy out of the field. Um, when I took the last load of bales, I said, I need to fill this thing up with fuel. And as you can see, it's not running. <laughs> That's because I forgot to fill it up with fuel. So we open our tab here. You can see on the right hand side, I have 111,689 euros. And I have already bought, oh, put us into that view, there we go. I have already bought the header for the harvester. So that 110,000 euros that the harvester cost, we have with some spare. So that's good, because we're going to need it to buy fertilizer, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't have enough to do both these fields. So that's something that we're going to have to address when we get there. Uh, but we, we do have peas to sell, though, so that's the good thing. And I didn't store any of it, I just went ahead and sold it all so we could get the harvester. Uh, in our next 90,000, we will go get the tractor, and then we will buy, begin buying implements for the tractor. Uh, but for now, though, I'm going to back this guy up and park it right here, because I don't really need it uh, any time. Well, I am going to need it, but I can come back and get it, so no big deal. Lower that one down. There we go. And it puts us back in first person. That's still a thing, apparently. Kicking you back into first person. I want to grab the fertilizer. And I want to go ahead and get these fertilized and seeded. And then we will go get the harvester. So I may do some of this off camera. Uh, it's not going to take me too long to do. So I may do it off camera and bring you back. Or uh, before I go, before I, before I just go off camera here, um, I think addressing a new game that is coming out may be a good idea. So Cattle and Crops was due to release last year. Uh, like July 9th or something and it did not so uh, in lies the problem if they do release it when right so apparently I looked on Steam and they're going to do a, a beta release like an early release type deal uh, this month so what would you guys think about me picking up cattle and crops and playing some of it uh, I think it looks like a really good game um, I don't really know that much about it, but it does look like a fantastic game, so uh, I think I'm probably going to pick it up and play it. I've been looking at it since, um, I think, Grateful. Uh, either still streams or used to stream. I haven't seen stream in quite a while. Had a really good farming simulator community on Twitch. Um, he's the first person I heard mention it, and this was back in 2016, probably, so. Um, many thanks to Grateful for pointing that out. Uh, for me because I didn't know anything about it so um, he's the first person I saw mention it so I've been kind of looking forward to it and kind of looking into it here, here and there and uh, I never did get to play any of the, uh, the testing phase the demo or whatever so um, if it comes out in beta on Steam uh, what would you guys think you guys be up for viewing some uh, some cattle and crops watching some cattle and crops kind of watch the process I don't mind playing early access games obviously um, I'll play them so you don't have to if you don't want to spend the money on early access I'll play them and go through the headache I'm more than happy to do so because I enjoy playing early access games because you never know sometimes you get those games that are just really really good early access games uh, like this one for instance uh, it's buggy and they're having some issues with uh, legal legal stuff right now but I mean all that aside it's still a great game it's still a fantastic game keeps people playing for hours so I mean that's how you know you got a good game is if you can continually keep people coming back and playing for hours and hours and hours um, 
there was not a real lot of there wasn't a whole lot of hype around this game, which it wasn't. You know, it's not a big AAA game either. It's independent devs, so um, I feel like uh, I feel like the game de de deserves a little more recognition than it has. Um, as long as they didn't steal the game engine, of course, or whatever's going on there. So if the if the you know, if they did something illegal to get the game out there, then of course I will retract all of my positive statements about them, and uh, we won't have that at all. But uh, I think that uh, I think all this should be resolved shortly. So at least I hope so. Anyway, I'm wasting a ton of fertilizer right here messing around trying to back up. There we go. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping that, that pretty soon we should know something. Probably by about the time uh, Cattle and Crops comes out. So uh, if you guys want to see some Cattle and Crops, let me know in the comments below. I would be more than happy to play it. I'm probably going to play it anyway. Um, so it, what, what I may do is something like... Uh, um, drop to uh, one day a week on another Let's Play. So... Uh, instead of two days a week, I will still do my Stardew Valley of Harvest Moon and both of my Farming Sim series, but instead of having uh, two days a week on the Farming Sim stuff, uh, I'll do one a week and replace the extra slot with cattle and crops. If that's something you guys might be interested in, you let me know. And if you want to see me drop uh, either either of the Farm Sim Let's Plays once a week, let me know. I'll, I'll drop one of them to do some cattle and crops for a little while. It won't be permanent, of course. Um, or it may not be permanent. It might be. We might end up enjoying cattle and crops just enough that uh, we might make it a permanent thing once a week here. Uh, so just let me know in the comments below. What do you think about cattle and crops, and would you be okay with some, uh, some gameplay from it when it releases? Um, I think I'm good with it. Um, after looking at several videos on it and keeping up with it on the website and stuff for the last little bit, I am definitely, definitely into it. So, uh, you guys let me know what you think about it and if you would be interested in cattle and crops at all. Alright, that being said, we do have enough money to buy the new harvester, and we left our peas to be harvested by the new harvester, because I want to see if we get a better crop yield like everybody says. And, uh, we, we won't have to empty it quite as often either. It's only going to have to be emptied, uh... Every 12,000 liters, is that right? Or every 11, every 11,000 liters? I think somebody said 11 or 12,000 liters. I can't really remember. Uh, but either way, that's that's fantastic. That's big numbers. So uh, it's less trips with the trailer. That's less trips or to the trailer rather. Uh, it's less trips back around the field. All that kind of stuff. Uh, it's got a wider header on it. So you know, lots of good stuff from that. Is this thing 100% fertilized or fairly close? It is 98% fertilized. That is close enough for me. Uh, I'll never miss those few extra pieces there. Alright, so, uh, let's, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up for today. Uh, it's getting dark. Yeah, I think I might be able to get all this seeded and everything before nighttime, or before I go to sleep anyway. So, in the morning, we will go get the new harvester. So, hang in there, uh, just a minute, and we will go pick up the new harvester. Okay, there we go. We are done. It is officially seeded. 99.92% of canola with 100% plowed, 100% cultivated, 100% fertilized, and 97% on the manure. Uh, this one is 98.47% uh, uh, sown with barley, and 100% plowed, 100% cultivated, 98% on fertilizer, and 96% on manure. Now, we probably could have got a little closer to that had I not tried to do it at nighttime, because I did. I tried to fertilize at night, and that doesn't work because you can't really see, and the headlights just make it worse. Uh, the horrible, horrible glare uh, on the dirt at night with headlights is just awful. So, uh, yeah. Uh, today is a new day. We did get all the milk, and we've already sold everything. We have 111,683 euros. So we should be just fine. Let's go pick up our brand new harvester. That's what we won. I'm probably going to screenshot it if you guys didn't know. Um, right as soon as we pull out of this place. Hey, there's the train. So I did go ahead and buy this. That way we got it out of the way because I wanted to know how much I was going to need uh, more to buy this thing instead of buying this first and then having to go, well, crap, now I need to buy the header. So I bought the other one first. Modern vehicle. Grain combine. Price 110,000 euros. Engine base horsepower 150. Fuel tank, 980. Capacity, 12,000 kilograms. That's a lot. Bye. 
we are the proud new owners of something with a full cab on it. Let's see what it looks like in cab here. Uh, it's pretty basic. <laughs> it's pretty basic. Uh, although it does look pretty good. It is still better than the alternative. Uh, the thing we were using. The mirrors do work in this. So that's good. At least we have mirrors that are working properly. Now then, let's make this long trek back. Actually, you know what? Oh, I don't want that. Hang on. Let's take a screenshot right there. I'll we'll take another one right here. Perfect. Now then. Uh, there we go. Let's say, where's the trigger for this thing? This thing is massive. I don't think this is going to fit anywhere in any of it. Where's our farm at from here? We need to go down to this field, so let's just mark this field here. Might be easier to go this way, to be quite honest. Uh, yeah, we'll just go cut across the grass. It's no big deal. <laughs> no big deal at all. Man, this thing sounds so much better, too. Oh, that was raised up. Well, that does skim the ground there, doesn't it? Hit some different terrain with it and see how the header acts. Uh, that's not bad. Not too bad at all. Stay on the road. It only goes 24k, though. Uh, it could go a little faster. It's a little bit bigger. Got a little bit bigger motor, more horsepower, that kind of thing. But, um, I'm guessing once you turn that on, you're going to slow down to 12. Yep, okay. Good deal. Well, now we know what we got, and I'll see you when we get to the field. Uh-huh, almost back to the field. We're going to pick up right where we left off with the other harvester. I think that will probably be the best bet. I just want to point something out. Look at the size of this uh, grain pipe. Like, they could have went with just the first one and not need the extension there at all. That's, uh, that's a big, wide grain pipe there for what reason <laughs> exactly. All right, let's go ahead and turn this thing on and get slowed down. Go about here. This thing does have a massive... Oh! This thing does have a massive, massive reach on it. Looks like the hitbox on it is uh, maybe slightly off as well. Yeah, the hitbox on it is slightly off because it looks like I'm leaving grain even though uh, the edge of the header is clearly past it. But that is something that I would like for them to address pretty quickly because that matters. Like, that's important. Um, you're not getting as much width as you thought you were getting and you'll leave some grain behind in strings if you try to go to the edge like this. Or maybe not. Maybe just picking it up. Let's see. Yeah, it's picking it up. Never mind. Okay then. Well, how are we doing on fullness here? Seven, eight percent. Of course, this thing holds 12,000 liters, so uh, we would be full right now if we were still using the other one. Right now, we'd be full. Um, so, I think all in all, this was definitely a good purchase. Uh, and I heard something about the uh, the fact that this thing catches more grain. Uh, even though the working width seems to be about the exact same by the time you take into consideration the uh, the loss on the left side here. Just not recognizing the crop at all. Um, and it's not too bad, but there is a little dead spot right there. That's a fine line between where I'm at right this second, and if I move over just slightly to where the grain is, I mean, where the, the crops are barely on the edge. Um, which kind of makes sense, I guess, because, I mean, you know, being that close, you're going to lose some. So, uh, But that's why all that's still there is because it kind of did it when we first got started. But other than that, uh, this thing is fantastic. I'm covering way more ground. And... Uh, it holds a ton more grain. So we only have to... I mean, we should only have to harvest these fields that we're plowing and, and replanting right now one time. We should have to just go over them one time with the harvester. That would be fantastic if that's the way this works out. Um, not having to empty the harvester 19 times um, is going to be good. Because it saves us time. We can just stay harvesting and do less uh, running around. Plus we have a wider working width. So... Uh, and it does seem to be a water working with. It's like when you when you get barely outside of that box, the header is not hitting the proper spot, so it's not picking it up, which is, I mean, I would assume that's that's fairly realistic. If you don't hit it with the header, you don't get to pick it up. So, 
Yeah, nothing really to complain about. I mean, other than the fact that I planted uh, peas instead of canola here. That'd be the only thing I have to complain about. But my other two fields that I just planted are canola and barley. So we get barley, we still get the hay, but we get a better price out of the barley. And we have a bigger tractor. And uh, now we have the brand new harvester. So uh, very good. We were making some progress finally. I feel rejuvenated again. We got the big harvester and the big trailer. So that's a good combo to have since the trailer holds 11,000 liters. And the big harvester holds uh, 12,000 liters. Theoretically, we should not have to empty this thing at all to do these small fields that we have. Now, the bigger one's a different question. I mean, different, yeah, different, different question. A whole different scenario. We may have to uh, empty it a few times, especially if we if we buy them and then plow them, cultivate them, fertilize them twice, all that kind of stuff, and get a good yield out of the crop. So, uh, I think out of the uh, out of the canola field, the little small one, the 0.89 hectare that we have over on the farm we ended up getting a trailer load and a half out of it which is uh, pretty good I think it ended up being about 14,000 liters or, or 16,000 liters yeah it ended up being about 16,000 liters which is really good so uh, no complaints for me on that at all I do want to stop right there and back up and we're gonna try to grab the rest of this we back up far enough we did there we go perfect perfect now uh, let's talk about some of the details of this thing. There are none. There are no details in this thing whatsoever. So up in the cab, you have basically nothing. Um, camera's spinning a bit too quick there. My fault, guys. Uh, but you have basically nothing in cab with you, as you can see. You've got the uh, the joystick, and you've got a little screen there. And there's no design anywhere to make a manufacturer go, hey, that's our design. So other than the way the paint job is and the style of the harvester, you can tell it's a class. Uh, and I don't know if it's the Lexion or whatever it is, but uh, it's definitely a class harvester, which is really nice, honestly, because, well, we haven't gotten to see class in stock games yet, so um, if they could implement class somehow into this and make it an actual class harvester, which I'm sure they, they, they may push for brand name stuff in the future, it'd be really cool if they did. Um, I think getting a lot more people in, invested in the game that way. Uh, you can get a lot more people invested in the game that way, I feel like, because there's a lot of people out there that really get into what tractor they use and what harvester and uh, brand names, that kind of stuff, and stuff they'd like to see in the game. So I feel like uh, you could get some more people going, hey, you know, let's, I want to get this game now, which I don't know if they do that over just a harvester, but um, moving too fast. I wasn't moving that fast. Or was I? Was I pulling the trigger? I think I was pulling the trigger. I didn't set it on cruise. I just had my, my finger on the Xbox controller there. Uh, doing gas manually um, but yeah I, f I feel like in future games um, people might be more apt to uh, you know put their put their um, their brand in the game itself uh, just to be associated with it it'd be kind of neat I think uh, not everybody feels that way because of course then you're letting people use your um, your brand for you know what what profit are they really earning from you uh, when you push your game to a lot of uh, video game enthusiast in, in enthusiast 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 yes that's the word I'm looking at. enthusiast anybody know what that means I have no idea I'm making up words today apparently uh, video game enthusiast uh, not to say that that doesn't mean they're not farmers because they are a lot of people that play stuff like farming simulator stuff like that have uh, an interest in the game or background uh, in some sort so of some sort so I mean uh, if you look at it that way then uh, yes um, it does help for sure now I'm curious since peas bring the most uh, did we mess up by planting peas instead of planting canola I don't know what kind of yield we would have gotten off this with canola and this was not 100% manure I don't think this was just fertilized so our crop is a uh, um, our, our crop per ton is definitely down considering what it could have been if we had manured the entire field and then plowed it. Um, but either way, this is still a pretty good yield. I think we might end up with uh, close to 9,500 uh, kilograms out of this. So not too bad at all, uh, to be quite honest. And look at the tires getting dirty too. It's really neat, man. Uh, the machine starts getting dirty as you go. I'm glad they did that. I want to see if the right side does the same thing. It does. Okay, good to know. So you want to stay just just outside the crop there with your header. And uh, you should be able to pick everything up that way. And I don't 
think I'm going to grab too many of these little uh, stragglers laying around because I don't think it's worth it. Let's see. It did not even add a percent or one. That added one finally to the kilogram. So we're on 94.82. This should give us about 84. Uh, these little strings down through here. Oh, 85. Never mind, never mind. I'm not picking that up either. All right, I got uh, a few little pieces to grab right here, and then we will finish up that middle row. We'll take this and sell it. Almost got it all. I mean, this thing looks good, though. At least it's got that going for it, right? Looks really good. Alright, well that's it. I'm going to grab these right here. And we ended up with 9,545. So it'll probably be 50 by the time I get these little stragglers out here. I doubt it. I don't know. Nah, that's not going to make it to 50. I need five more kilograms. I don't think there's enough here for that. There might be one. Nope, not even one. Alright, cool. Well that's done and over with and out of the way. Uh, we get our uh, old jack bear over here and uh, get ready to take some of this. Beautiful. Look at that. That's awesome to have that much capacity on this thing. I just, I, I could do the entire field without having to empty into the trailer. That makes me feel extremely good about buying this thing. I was kind of curious to start with. I was like, man, I don't know if I want to spend, you know, $110,000. Um, but then after using it and actually getting over here to see it, uh, I am very happy. So we're 250 kilograms short of a full trailer as well, which is super nice. It means we would have got, uh, we probably would have gotten uh, probably about 12,500 liters uh, out of this thing out of this field um, considering the first one we filled up the old combine and it was 1200 liters so yeah we got about uh, 12,500 out of it I think no we wouldn't that is the entire thing so 1075 is what we got out of the whole field I forgot I didn't empty it uh, I did one pass emptied it into the trailer and then left the trailer sitting there and moved the uh, harvester down uh, kinda toward the the couple of houses and farms and stuff there together uh, between here and the uh, mill so uh, that way if I need a, a quick uh, a quick travel point I can do that instead of having to run over to a bus stop I can just jump down there to it real quick and then hop out of it and I did park it in the field like it was not being used like it was retired so it is parked off in a field uh, pretending to not work anymore <laughs> which I think it still does but uh, either way all right now I've heard people say that nothing it won't this thing will not fit in this barn I am I am destined to try it out myself. I really want to know. The header will not fit in here. So if we drop the header, will this will this thing go in there? I guess we could drop the header. Um, basically right here. Let's disconnect that one. There we go. Uh-oh. We have made a mistake, I think. I was going to try to back in. That's not going to work. So we're just going to have to pull in forwards. There we go. Uh, it's plenty tall enough. The header won't go in there. Okay, so that's that's what people have been mentioning. Then, that the header won't go in the in the doorway there. All right. Well, let me go grab the jack bear, and we'll do some uh, do some grain carting down to the uh, not the mill. Yeah, the mill. No, that was peas. That needs to go right over there. Yeah, let me grab the tractor stuff, and we'll do that. We'll be back with you in a second. All right. Let's see how much money we end up getting off of this guy. This is ten thousand seven hundred fifty kilograms. Ninety-seven percent full on the trailer. Not too bad. Get to my furthest view here. 
And, oh, whoever told me, and I don't know if I've mentioned this, whoever told me in the in the comments that let your tractor stop moving on its own so the trailer doesn't uh, wiggle around works perfectly, by the way. Um, I, stop, I stop pushing the gas when I get close and just let it roll on in and bump it if I have to to get it on in there. So uh, that way, for sure, we end up uh, stopping completely. 11,267 euros. That is pretty, pretty good. I'm, I'm extremely... Oh, I got out of the tractor and it put me... Uh, in a really weird spot. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been here before. This is kind of weird. I don't think I can get out of here either. Can I squeeze through? Yes, we can squeeze through. Good deal. All right. Uh, this is the button I meant to hit. Right there. Now, I'm going to do some plowing off camera, but what I want to know is how many more fields should we plant? Should we plant as many as possible? Uh, I can spend a little time off camera playing since I've cut down to uh, one Harvest Moon and one Stardew Valley, uh, Stardew Valley video a week. Uh, also, uh, there's a new game coming out, um, Fishing Barrett's Sea. Barrett's Sea? I think it is. Barrett's Sea? Yeah, that's what it would be. Um, I'm probably going to pick that game up and play it. Um, it looks really good, and I know that there's a lot of other YouTubers playing it right now. It's not out yet. They got uh, early access to it, so that's cool. Uh, we get they got to show it off, and we got to see it, and if you know, make make our decision if we if it's something we would buy or not, and we watch some videos on it, that kind of stuff. So, uh, very good that they got uh, to play it early and show all of us uh, whether or not uh, it would be worth buying and worth playing. And it looks really good though. It looks like a, a different kind of simulator. It's a lot more in-depth than I thought it would be. So uh, for me, it's going to be a steep learning curve probably, but uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun to play. Uh, also, if you guys look at my playlist, I have a Pantravy playlist somewhere down through there. Um, as far as I know, uh, I, I can't show anything I've been playing recently, which I haven't played in a little while because I've been trying to keep all my schedule stuff going and I didn't have room for another game uh, anyway, but it's been under an NDA for a while. I have played uh, several hours of the game, not recently, but I did jump on today and play for a little while and um, uh, I think, I can't tell you anything about it of course, but uh, I am going to, uh, as soon as the NDA releases, uh, since the NDA is up on it, I'm probably going to put out a video or two on it. Uh, it probably won't be a full series. It'll probably be something more like uh, if if you guys end up getting it and you want to do like community day on it, I think that might be fun. Um, if you've never heard of Pantropy, I will leave a link in the description below for um, their website and for their... They have a Kickstarter starting up on... Um, is the the sixth yeah so uh like two days from now so if you haven't heard of it be sure to go check it out uh it is a it's not a survival game it is a uh faction based game uh so you do have a health bar but it's only for being like if you're shot <laughs> basically so uh keep that in mind but uh and you have an armor bar as well or an armor gauge i guess um you get, uh, you can build armor and stuff like that. This is all in the, um, none of this is against the NDA. This is all stuff that, that was in the community test build, the videos and stuff I did for the community test build. So, um, it's, um, it's a lot of fun because it's different and it's, and you can build mechs and stuff and drive mechs around. You can build drones and fly drones around. Like it's a lot of fun, but it is a sci-fi based game. So, uh, I know a lot of my crowd that watches stuff like this and farming simulator videos probably won't like it. Uh, but I do enjoy playing the game from time to time, so I'm probably going to jump back into that. Do I own this field? I do. It's 1.7 hectares, so uh, I'm probably going to plow this field up and plant something. Plant canola, probably, just to get some more money going. Um, and at some point, we're not going to need the money, because we really, our next big purchase is 90000 right? So uh, after we get the tractor, hopefully we're not going to need too much more money. Why am I still in first person? That's weird. <laughs> I don't like first person on this tractor. For some reason, I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, so I'm probably going to do a couple videos on that. Again, check the description below for um, uh, 
uh, some Pantropy info. Those guys have been really good to me. Uh, I did. I got in early on the community test build, and they've been very supportive of uh, uh, content creators with their game until they had the NBA come out because they were really starting to uh, get going. So uh, they had to put the NDA out, and they did started doing you know different updates and stuff. So, um, but it looks like they're about to release it. Hopefully, so when they do, uh, I will have a video up on it and just kind of showing off uh, some new features and stuff that are in the game from my last the last video I did was man I don't know middle of last year sometime. So it's been quite a while since I've done one, but I'm really looking forward to it. So uh, also I found on here that you can, uh, of course they fix the uh, manure disappearing when you plow, but uh, I think I'm going to plow and then put the manure down and then cultivate, and that works the same way. So it still keeps it, uh, still keeps it in, uh, but it allows you more time, uh, so you don't have to like go get the manure and then all that kind of stuff. I can, I can do this first. Plowing is the worst, so. Um, and I've seen a lot of comments and stuff from people, you know, not wanting to, uh, another YouTuber I watch is Frithgar. I've never watched him. He's hilarious. He's a really, really funny YouTuber. Uh, go check him out as well. Um, I might leave a link in the description below for him too. Uh, he's got, um, he doesn't need any promotion by any means, <laughs> but, uh, not, not for my channel anyway. My, my few little, uh, hundreds of subscribers are not going to help him out that much, but I, I mean, I figure if he gains one or two for me, then good. You know, if you guys never heard of him. He's good entertainment to watch, so you know, I'm 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 more about supporting the the content creators that do do, do good work and stuff. I don't I don't really care um, uh, that it's promotion for other people. It's it's more about supporting the the overall community for me. And uh, there's a lot of toxic people out there that do gaming videos and stuff. And I would never I don't think I would ever support folks like that to be honest with you. But uh, people like Frithgar, man, he he does really good work. Um, he does it full time now. Apparently, a year and a half ago or so, he was he was doing it kind of part time, and then he went full time YouTube. So uh, good for him. I'll go check him out as well. But he does, he plays similar games, plays Farming Simulator, and uh, he's a bigger YouTuber than I am. So he's got access to stuff like House Flipper, stuff like that, stuff I do not have access to yet. So uh, very good though. Um, but he he mentioned that you know if. Uh, something that he hopes for in the game is, is people to be able to work for you, uh, like hire AI help. And apparently, uh, in, a, in a future patch, hopefully pretty soon, we still haven't heard anything, and I have looked around. Uh, this is Sunday, by the way. This is not Monday. I'm recording this a day early, and I do that so I can get my videos out um, at 6 a.m. Uh, the next day. 6 a.m. for me. I don't know what time zone you're in, so you'll have to figure that one out. Uh, Central time is 6 a.m. when these videos come out. 6 a.m. Central Time. Just going to repeat one more time. Uh, but uh, if you want to calculate that, you can to see when the videos come out. If you're not a regular around here, so you don't know that, so you can you can now figure out what time my videos are coming out and be ready for them. And you can also uh, subscribe and hit the little notification bell next to it to get notified when I release a new video. That's always something to do. And I don't push this enough, but I do have a Discord that is open to the public. Um, there are levels in the Discord. Please don't spam the, the the levels rank just to level up, and don't spam just to level up. Uh, I'm probably going to implement a new rule for that one. Uh, I didn't really foresee that happening, um, but I don't want uh, a whole lot of uh, spam filtering through the Discord because I have left Discords because people just spam stuff randomly, so um, I can understand the frustration there. Not talking to any one certain person, by the way. I know you're going to watch this video and go, Hey, he's talking about me. No, I'm not talking about any one certain person. It's something I really should have thought of to begin with, to be quite fair. Um, but uh, also, I have a Patreon. If you want to support me on Patreon, there's a $1 tier and a $5 tier. You're more than welcome to. It's not, uh, not needed, but it is always appreciated. And if you do, you get um, slots in the Discord. So you'll have three private rooms. Um, and a private chat room that only me and the admins and you can see. Um, the $1 patrons could not even see into the $5 patron rooms. The $5 patrons are the ones that get the three chat channels to yourself. Uh, me, like I said, me and the uh, admins are the only ones that have, uh, you can even view the room. So when, when you're in there, you're, you're by yourself. Or if you want to drag people in, you can do that. You have powers to move folks around. Um, something you don't get to, you get to level 10, 
Um, and that you get to you gain your levels in Discord by being active in the community. So if you want to uh, hop over and check out the Discord, you're more than welcome to uh, check that out. But there are links in the description for everything. Um, also, I'm probably going to try to multi-stream uh, to YouTube and Mixer from now on. Uh, I can't to Twitch because the TOS on Twitch says that you can only stream to their streaming service. So they changed that up a while back. So I'm not going to be doing much on Twitch uh, unless I do uh, uh, like a more adult channel, like some PUBG, some Rocket League, uh, stuff like that. will be about the only thing I ever do on Twitch. But uh, I'm going to stick to YouTube mostly, mainly because during the summer I have, and I didn't really plan on sitting here talking while I was plowing, but uh, a lot of stuff on my mind right now. So i uh, trying to catch up on everything. Uh, I had a couple of shows on Thursday, or one show on Thursday and Friday. I had rehearsals on Thursday. The show was actually on Friday, so it kind of put me out of my schedule a little bit. I still managed to get the, the main videos that I normally do out, um, with the exception of a Gold Rush, but we stream Gold Rush two, two times a week as well. So, uh, plus, uh, uh, I normally do at least a Saturday video, and if I don't stream Gold Rush, I'll normally put out a video. So, uh, if you don't see a Gold Rush stream or if I miss some streams or something, there's going to be a video coming out that week too. So, uh, no need to uh, worry about it if you like the Gold Rush series. Uh, but the main thing is that uh, I want to uh, open up to a bigger audience, and I think streaming on Mixer, there's a lot of folks that watch Mixer that don't watch uh, live streams on YouTube and such because of um, uh, the, it's known more as a streaming platform than YouTube is. YouTube's still not known to be a streaming platform, it's known to be a video platform for content creators. Mixer is more of a gaming based uh, platform, so that's one reason I'm going to try to set up a multi stream to Mixer as well. Um, and I will include the Mixer link in the video description below, and I, that will be on all my videos from now on. I'm going to leave the Twitch one up there. You're more than welcome to follow me on both. It'd be fantastic if you did. Uh, but I will still be mainly using YouTube for everything because my busy season is quickly approaching. And I've been saying this for a while now, but it really is quickly approaching. So, that being said, I am going to be live streaming less, and I don't want to go on a live streaming site only and stream three or four days a week and then my busy season roll around and me not be able to live stream and still put out youtube videos so that's why i live stream on youtube is because well one because i enjoy the interaction with the, with the community and stuff it's fun uh, that's the main reason i do it uh, but the other reason I, I i have been solely streaming on youtube is because i want my uh youtube community to realize that uh the live streams are not going to be every day right you know that it's monday through wednesday uh, and I might throw in a bonus stream here or there, you never know. But it's Monday through Wednesday. And um, even when I'm not streaming, even on the weeks that I'm not able to stream because I've got shows going on, you're still going to have videos to watch because I'm still going to upload videos. So uh, it may not be quite as many. I may have to drop a few uh, games that I'm playing or a series or something. I may have to drop a series here and there uh, for a week or so just till I can get the game back uh, going until I have enough time to do it. Um... But my busy season is very, very busy. Uh, I think last year between April 1st and uh, the first week of, or the second week of June, um, I worked uh, every single week. And normally with my job, I don't work every week. I'll work uh, four or five days out of a week and then be off for a week or something like that, you know, or, you know, work two or three weeks in a row and then have a week off. So. Uh, that's the reason I started doing YouTube stuff is because I realized that I had time to do that. Um, I've been fortunate enough to have that extra time and a family uh, that supports uh, what I do. So uh, very, very much appreciative of all that kind of stuff. But if I was to just stream on Mixer and then I disappeared for you know two, three weeks or whatever, um, uh, then the community would not be pleased and they wouldn't come back and watch videos. So I want you guys to be happy with the content that I put out and... That being said, streaming, that got weird, uh, streaming to YouTube um, keeps my content on YouTube, which is primarily where I'm going to be doing videos, so it only makes sense to stream here. Uh, but I am going to try to do a uh, big pace mention this, if you, have a, if you have a friend of yours that sees stuff that you don't, that's been in the, in the business a long time and pace has been around uh, Twitch since right after the switch from Justin TV, I do believe, uh, he's been around the community for a very long time. And he sees stuff that I don't, and uh, uh, he's very helpful to me, and I appreciate uh, what he does as well. So, 
Uh, I don't think I've ever said that on a video, but I really do appreciate you, buddy. You don't know it, but uh, I do. <laughs> uh, I figured I'd give him a few props as well, because he does help me out with a lot of stuff. Um, I do all my own editing and thumbnails and everything else and, you know, all that kind of stuff, but uh, Pace is the, the brain that if he comes up with a new idea, he just throws it at me. I'm like, yeah, okay, you know, let's try it. So uh, he mentioned dual streaming to Mixer, and I was like, you know what, that's not really a bad idea. So I'm going to try that, and uh, we'll see how it goes and see if my internet can hold up to it. Um, and just give it a shot. So, Man, the hills on this does, do not look quite as steep as they actually... Oh, I'm missing a bunch of that there. I'm going to have to come back and get that. Uh, but the, the hills on this field don't look as drastic as they are. Um, the ground doesn't look like it changes that much. It looked like a pretty flat field to start with. Uh, but either way, I just wanted to kind of kind of throw some of that out there at you. I've had a lot on my mind. I've been thinking about a lot uh, for the community and stuff. Uh, also, I think I may try to do... Um, it's not going to be every week. It's not going to be every day for sure. Uh, but once every two or three weeks or so, try to do a community... Um, a community... Uh, series on um, farming simulator so if you're in the farming simulator and you're on the discord uh, and you want to jump in and kind of participate uh, on some multiplayer stuff I'm, I'm kind of looking at uh, getting a multiplayer server for farming simulator I know everybody in the world's done it but it's just kind of something I can do for you guys to uh, to jump in and kind of get playing together you know I mean play with me and play play you know jump in and play a game with somebody else I know that I play a lot of solo games so, you know, jumping in and doing something with the community is always good, it's always fun, and I'm going to enjoy it a lot, I think, so. Uh, I hope you enjoy it a lot, the, the people that do come over and play, so. Uh, but either way, I'm going to finish this field up, and I will bring you back, and we'll take one last look at the new harvester that we bought, and go from there. So, I spent a lot of time talking while I was plowing this, and I'm almost done, I didn't even realize it, so. I'll bring you back when we're uh, done plowing the field. Alrighty, it is getting late in the day. I did finish playing the field up. We got the uh, uh, manure spreader hooked up and ready to go. I'm going to go spread some manure and stuff. But I'm going to do that off camera. I'm going to finish it up. And I'm probably going to plant it with uh, canola. Um, I may plant it with barley since it's a smaller field. Because we don't need that many, um, that many hay bales really to keep our cows going. So I may plant it with barley. And then uh, the one just here that's 1.87 hectares or something we'll plant that one with canola that's going to take me a while to, to plow and stuff anyway so uh, i'm going to start right here close to me where i bought all these fields right here around me and then we'll work our way down toward the big two and a half acre field and hopefully by the time we get down there we'll have some money and be able to buy a tractor so that's kind of the idea is this season i'm going to work on uh, these four fields which i think um if if it's right that it's 60 days for it to grow then i should get three harvest um, yeah, I should get three harvest out of these, roughly. Um, maybe two and a half for some, and, uh, three for the others. I think the ones that I got down on the first day, today is the fourth day, so I may not get quite three harvest out of them, but I'll definitely get, uh, next April when we skip winter again, so we'll definitely get that. Um, until the next update... Uh, planting and plowing fields and doing some side jobs and stuff. So I may start skipping some weeks. I don't want to, but um, may have to. See, my old plow is already sitting here next to this one. 1 1.87 hectare. That's what it is. So I may get, I may get that one. Uh, this one's 1 1.65. I didn't buy that one. I didn't buy that one. That one's got wheat on it or it had wheat on it. Um, this one's already plowed right here. And it's 2.25 hectare. That'd be a nice one to have. But I've got these two. Uh, and that one's already... Uh, plowed so these are definitely planted they are ready to go so hopefully we'll see some good yield out of these guys with the barley and canola i want to plant canola in this one i think and do barley in this one and then we'll also do canola in that one if i can uh, force myself to plow uh two more two more fields after uh or one more field after this one <laughs> we'll try it anyway uh, i know we didn't get any um Side jobs done today, but I think they were transport and plow fields. I think was about it. Yeah, here we go. This is what I want to show you before I took off. This is where the old harvester is sitting. I think it looks pretty good sitting out here like this. Uh, next to this field here, which we own. <laughs> so uh, we have lots of fields around that we can uh, 
think I own these two and this one. And then this one. Yeah. So this is the big 7.55 that I want to... Uh, 7.55 hectares I want to buy, but I want to do it after we get the big uh, harvest. I mean, after we get the big uh, tractor. Well, you know what? We've got the big harvester now. Hang on a minute now. Let's uh, let's hop out of this. I want to go check this out before we take off. The video. We're almost done with the video. Almost out of time. So let's go. Uh, let's go check this out before we take off here. I just want to see if. Uh, if this is still wheat or if it's been plowed up. 1.6. This is the one we plowed, I think. Yeah, this is a little bitty one that we plowed. Um, yeah, so plowing anything less than a hectare now is actually not too bad. It doesn't take too long to do. They're still stuck in the house. So. Uh, oh, that's been planted. Ooh. Uh, oh, barley is sown here. That would be sweet to buy. But this feels like 60,000 euros or something. At 60,412. So if we bought this with barley, and barley is a pretty nice price right down here at the mill. Go down here and see. Yeah, seven, 70, uh, 700 euros per ton. And we got hay bales out of that massive field. We would make a killing on that. Uh, and we have the big harvester and the big trailer. So there's no reason not to, really. I was waiting on the big harvester to do it. I think we'd make, I think we'd make an extra 20 grand back on it easily. Uh, maybe even more. Yeah, maybe more than that. But either way, we'll work on the fields we got for now. We'll plan on that uh, big 7.5 hectare field at some point. Uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one. Hope you have a good one. Later, everybody.